It's generally accepted that the Guardians have crazy pitching development, or the Dodgers can turn any aging veteran into a great hitter again. But did you know, the Milwaukee Brewers have a catching lab that allows them to turn even the worst defensive catchers into above average, overnight. Their newest project, well, I, I can't even call it a project, the project is complete, but their newest development is William Contreras, who they acquired from the Braves via the three-way Sean Murphy trade last December. And look, look at me. Look at my face. I'm a Braves fan. I love Sean Murphy. He's having an incredible start to the season. But man, what the Brewers are doing to these catchers is sick. These are sick people, and they must be stopped. Here's what they do. They find a bad defensive catcher who can hit. And that's William Contreras. Since the start of 2022, he's the best hitting catcher in Major League Baseball by OPS+. By the way, if you want to look up these things for yourself, code FOOLISH20 for 20% off your first year of StatHead. More info in the description. So he's a great young hitting catcher. What's not to like here? Why wouldn't the Braves keep him at all costs? Well... It was the defense, and granted, catcher is the hardest defensive position, but between 2021 and 2022, Contreras was well below average in stats like defensive runs saved and framing compared to the average backstop, which is why Atlanta frequently used him as a designated hitter. And yet, all it took was just one spring training with the Milwaukee Brewers, and all of a sudden, He's a good hitting catcher, he's a good defensive catcher, and he's young and he's cost controlled. Like, this is an insane get. This is insanely valuable. So much more valuable than just having a good DH. Look at his framing data according to StatCast. It was blue, which is bad. Now it's red, which we all know is good. And you can see that most of those gains are coming from stealing strikes below the zone. Here's an example of a frame job below the zone. Here's another one. Nicely done. And then, how about one more for the road? But it's not just the framing either. StatCast recently introduced Catcher Blocks, which is a catcher's ability to prevent wild pitches and passed balls. Contreras, seemingly overnight, has gone from negative 5 to negative 3 to plus 4 blocks above average. He's one of the best blockers in the league. And you know this stat is for real because JT Realmuto is right towards the top. All right, one more leaderboard for you. I think Baseball Prospectus has some of the best catching stats in the biz, and they currently have him ranked as the fifth most valuable defensive catcher in baseball so far in 2023. Last year, on this exact same leaderboard, he was 79th. And this is hardly new for the Brew Crew. They already did this with Omar Narvaez. There was a time, once upon a time, Omar Narvaez was a good hitting catcher, but he was just so fringy defensively, people thought he can't possibly stick around there. He's too much of a liability. You have to play him as a first baseman or a DH or whatever. I mean, just look at this. Just look at this. From negative 13 framing runs to plus 10, that's a 23 run swing. That's like two wins above replacement right there. The blocking, negative 20 to a league average zero. This is absolutely filthy stuff from the Milwaukee Brewers catching lab. In 2019 with Seattle, he was a 120 WRC plus hitter, meaning he was 20% better than league average at hitting, and he was worth 1.9 F war. In 2021 with Milwaukee, he was a 100 WRC plus hitter, which means he had fallen back down to exactly league average, and yet he was worth 2.8 F war just because his defense improved so much. And this kind of thing doesn't actually happen all that often. I'm talking about established big leaguers completely turning around their defensive performance. So, who's responsible for all this? In 2021, Will Salmon published an article in The Athletic detailing the Brewers' catching tandem of Omar Narvaez and Manny Pena. The article mentions one Walker McKinvin, who is a pitching, catching, and strategy coach for the Brewers. McKinvin watched film with Narvaez, specifically those of successful catchers with a similar body type. Another key piece is Charlie Green, who has been with the organization for 19 years and was just promoted to the assistant director of player development for the 2023 season. Suffice to say, this has been happening for a long time. In fact, Brewers catchers have the best defensive metrics in the league since the pitch tracking era began in 2008. This was pointed out to me by the great baseball YouTuber Baseball's Not Dead. 
Even the old Baseball America scouting reports on Jonathan Lucroy continually mention that his offense is way ahead of his defense, but once he hit the big leagues, Lucroy became one of the better defensive catchers in the game. So let's put an end to this. You know, the Braves made a fatal miscalculation by giving the Brewers an offensively gifted but defensively challenged young catcher. For the sake of the league, for the sake of competitive balance, here's who shouldn't ever, ever play for the Milwaukee Brewers. And I'm looking at you, MJ Melendez and the Kansas City Royals. Absolutely not. He was by far the worst catcher blocker last year, but the Milwaukee Brewers would probably have him winning a gold glove. And then in the minor leagues, just don't let them trade for Tyler Soderstrom. If that ever happens, the league has to veto it. So the catching lab definitely exists, but where is it? Well, we're here on Google Maps to look at the Brewers Spring Training Facility in Phoenix, Arizona. We can drag and drop ourselves in, and as you can see, the field is right there, but they're not gonna put a catching lab right where the field is. They're gonna hide it probably somewhere right across the street. And I'm looking here at this fairly inconspicuous looking building right here on the corner, right across the street from where they play their spring training games. It's a fairly inconspicuous building. You wouldn't suspect it, and that's exactly where I would put a catching lab. Wouldn't you put a catching lab, put it behind a gate, and say, hey, look, if you come in here, Violators will be prosecuted in accordance with blah, 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 blah. This is private property. You will never come in here and see the sick things that we're doing to our catchers. That's exactly where I would put the Milwaukee Brewers catching lab. Now, of course, the wise guys are going to come in here and say, hey, Bailey, that building is just a pediatrician's office, a pediatrician by the name of Janet Leathers. Well, then fine. Let me ask you this much. What's a baseball glove made out of? I rest my case.